In this tutorial, I will show you uh, the use of bash echo command. Echo command is mainly used to uh, print the output in the terminal. Uh, this command can take two arguments and both are optional. Uh, an option values can be hyphenin, hyphenin, hyphen capital A, version, and here. Hyphenin is uh, mainly used to omit the new line. That means when uh, we print anything using echo, then e a new line is added automatically. I will show you. Echo suppose yes. So you can see the new line is added. If I add hyphen in option, then the new line will be omitted. Uh, in this way, hyphen in is used for <coughs> printing backslash and hyphen capital is used for disable this feature. Now go to the first example using echo command without any option that I have already uh, shown you. You can use quotation or uh, print anything without any quotation. So here quotation is used uh, echo learn bash programming form in a three dot form. A new line is added automatically. Now go for the example 2 using echo command with minus n that I have already shown you. And uh, example 3, using echo command with hyphen e option. And hyphen small e option is mainly used to enable the backslash. So I will uh, run this command where backslash is added in the string value. Uh, here you can see uh, with backslash, tab is used. And uh, after every word, tab space is added in the outset. Next, using echo command with capital E that disable the tab feature or backslash feature. So, uh, in the string, a uh, new line is added, but I have used hyphen capital E. So, the no new line is generated. And if I use a small e here, you can see, then you can see the new line is working and I like bash programming. Now go for example 5, using variable in echo command. So first of all, a variable is declared price. Next, the variable is used with uh, single quote and double quote. There is a difference between single quote and double quote. If I run the code, you will understand the difference. Uh, the variable is assigned price value. Now, go for the next step where single quote is used and price is used inside the string. Equal the price of the book is dollar price. If I run the command, you can see the price value is not great. So, to read it, you must use double quotation to read any variable inside echo command. So, same is string with double quotation. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> echo command is <coughs> omitted. So, echo. Here you can see the dollar price, well, the value of the dollar price is read here. <clears throat> okay, now go for the example 6 using slash v and echo command. What is the purpose of slash v? It <coughs> use vertical alignment. Uh, so when I print anything using slash v and to make workable slash, you must have to use hyphen small e. Equal, then it seems is a Linux based block and here use slash v. So slash v will print the output like this. Next uh, example 7 using slash c uh, or slash, uh, sorry, slash c do if we run this. Here uh, you can see it uh, uh, omitted the new line and 
slash after slash sheet uh, the text is omitted so let's say there was tutorial but the tutorial in the output tutorial part is omitted so if you want to omit any part from the string then use slash c before that string example 8 print names of all files and folder using echo command so if I type echo star, first of all I will clear the stream and uh, echo star will read all files from the current location. Next 9, print the name of the specific file using echo command. So you can add extension here, text extension is added here. If I want to uh, pi extension then I have to type echo star dot pi. Now it is uh, showing me the all file with pi p y extension using echo command with bash script. Now I will uh, open the text editor. Add the bash script here. Save the file. Uh, suppose I keep the file in desktop, so just keep the name equal to example dot bash or sh you can use any extension and now if i have to run this file and go to desktop and if i type ls common it will show the file here so to run this i write bash echo example dot bash now you can see the output from the script here there is a string variable and uh, it is printed in the variable dollar string and this is our output so uh, in this way you can print uh, or use echo command in any bash script file and run the command from the file Hope uh, the use of eco is clear for everyone. Uh, thank you for watching.